Welcome back to Canvas Tutorials with Evan. Today we're going to be looking at how to edit the navigation menu to allow us a little bit more control of the student experience. We're going to add some menu items. We're going to take some away that we're not ready for students to see, or maybe we'll never use those depending on our course. As well, we're going to rearrange them a little bit so that they are more applicable or easy to use for the students. So here we go. So I'm once again, in my, I'm in my sandbox um, course. This is just the course that gives me a uh, total freedom to play around without fear of damaging my course. Um, but this is something you can do in, in your normal course. As you see uh, on the left here, it shows all of my menu items, everything from announcements at the top down to settings at the bottom and everything in between. There's a couple things that I want you to just notice. First, uh, there are these little eye symbols with a, a cross a, a, a across them. And if I hover over it, it says here, no content, not visible to students. Now, these are items that are in my menu. Uh, but until I actually put a um, some sort of content in it, they're not going to show. So for example, uh, I'll click on announcements here. And again, right now it's showing no content available. I'm going to make an announcement and I'm just going to say uh, new announcement. This is an announcement and I'm going to save it. Boom. And you notice that once I put some content in there, that um, that symbol goes away, showing that it is in our menu. Now, uh, the menu I see and the menu students see is not the same. And so if I look over here on the right side, I see the, the menu item student view. This is a, this uh, menu here is only what I see. The students don't see this, but the, the feature of student view is it allows me to click in and kind of view it as a student would see it. And you notice here that announcements are now here, but all the, all the menu items that had that I symbol are not again, because there's no content there, but there are also some menu items that didn't have the I symbol, uh, that aren't there either. For example, the settings, um, as well as the analytics, uh, those kind of things. Now there are some things in there that I want, and there are some things in there that I don't want, uh, cause I'm not going to use them or I might not use them yet. And so I don't want it to be uh, clogging up the student experience. And so I'm going to take those out and I'm going to reorder them a little bit. And here's how we do that. What we want to do is we want to click down at the settings button there at the, the bottom left. And this takes us to our course details page. And uh, these are all uh, items that you can change. We'll do that at another time. But I want us to, to look up here at the top navigation uh, tab. And we're going to click on that. And here you can see it lists all of our menu items. Now, as I hover over them, it highlights them. And if I click down, notice that if I hold down my, my mouse, it'll allow me to drag them. And so what I want to do is I want to take some out of here that I don't want the students to have. And so for now, uh, my students don't need access to outcomes. We're not going to do collaborations for a while or conferences rubrics is something I just want. Um, um, people, yeah, I'll probably leave that one there. Files, I'm not sure if I'm going to let the students use that. Attendance, new analytics. Okay, so those are just some things I don't want on there. I may add back later on in the term conferences or maybe collaborations or even the rubrics. Um, but until I'm ready to use them and teach the students uh, how to use that menu item or, or that, that function of the site, I'm not even going to have it be in the menu. The goal is to start with almost the bare minimum. What are the few tabs or the few pages that you want the students to have access to? So for example, um, I might take out the assignments if I'm going to focus purely on the modules. If I want them to, to live in the module page, uh, and not really go and, and try to navigate through the assignments. I might just take that, that page out or that, that, uh, menu item out of the menu until I'm ready for them to use it. Um, so now that I've taken some items out, I'm going to re, uh, 
reorder some. So the very first thing that I want, because I'm a modules guy, is I'm going to put modules at the top. I want them to see that very, very first. Uh, second thing I probably want is the discussions, because that's something I'm going to use uh, fairly often as well. So modules and discussions and assignments. Um, kids tend to want to know what their grades are. And so I'm going to put that next. Okay. Um, and then the rest I'm just going to leave down here and they can look for it. Uh, but that kind of gives it a little bit of a uh, more organized according to what I want. And every teacher is going to have a little bit different navigation and that's okay. Now, before I leave though, I need to come down here and I need to click save or none of those, those changes will have saved. Now notice that when I go out to my home again, they're all still there. Okay. Um, except for the ones that I took away. So, uh, for example, the, uh, new analytics is no longer there. Um, and so what I want to do, if I want to be able to see that, uh, for those sites that, or for those, um, pages that the students don't see like analytics, they're never going to see. Um, but I do want it here is that I need to just go ahead and add it back. Um, but if it's something that I'm not going to use, uh, I could take that away. Now, when I go over here again to student view, what do I see? I see a much more, uh, refined menu or menu that fits my course. Now, when, when the students come in and they know, okay, modules is, is, is that key item that I want them to use. And I, again, I can add menu items, take away, add, uh, or change the order depending on uh, what we're using so that they can, they can use it easily. So once again, uh, we've learned how to edit the navigation menu by going into the settings, uh, up to navigation and then changing the, the, the order and taking items in and out depending on what we need. Thank you. And I hope this has served you well.